Oh yeah, what up everybody? It's that time again. Daddy's Game Time Live. Monday night. Oh yeah, we're here. We're celebrating. It's Monday night. Welcome everybody to Daddy's Game Time Live. I am so excited, you guys. Another week, another 10,000 hits about, about on our <laughs> last video. Thank you so much for being a part of it all. Thank you for all of your support. Everybody who's like tuning in. Oh my goodness, Rick. I am so excited. This is your family-friendly show about gaming, movies, and pop culture. That's cool. That's I'm cool. Leo with <laughs> Rick and Francisco. Hey guys, how's it going? How is your week? Pretty good. Not in 100%. I'll tell you how mine was. Wise, but it was all right. All right. All right. All right. You? How was yours? Good? I just showed you how mine was. <laughs> I was, I was talking to this oh, guy. Leo, Leo, all right. <laughs> okay, so, so you're too you're too excited over there. I'm oh, telling yeah. you, man. I'm telling you, Horizon Zero Dawn is the real deal. I don't know why people don't give it the credit it's due. Maybe it's because of another little game that came out little shortly game. thereafter. <laughs> little you punk. <laughs> He's talking about the cartridge, little cartridge game. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying next week we're actually gonna have a really cool unboxing of the Legend of Zelda uh, special edition, uh, but. Today we have something even better, I think. Before we continue, for all of you, oh, bleh, for all of you just tuning in, not or as, those that you possibly even stuck around, we just finished our Spanish uh, DGT yeah, live. Yeah, DGT Espanol. en vivo. So Bye-bye. what we're gonna do? Hopefully, from now on, we're gonna be doing six thirty o'clock. Six thirty o'clock. Six thirty o'clock. <laughs> six thirty. Pacific time. Will o'clock. be uh, Pacific our, time. Our Spanish episode, and then would be followed by our English at seven o'clock. And that's they're right, never the right. same episode, so that's kind of cool for you if you can watch yeah, both language. If you can speak both languages, it'd be a treat. If for you're you. one of them bilingues. <laughs> one of them. One of them fellers. Mm-hmm. You're one of them multilingues. Yeah, because we used to do it where it was the same show, only translated. Yeah. yeah. But so now, then we didn't have the yeah. same energy for the exactly. following show because we're like, like, just we already like talked about copy, this, guys. Paste. <laughs> copy, paste, <laughs> copy, Control translate, all. paste. Exactly. We needed to get like a hologram going, and then we'll just do like a speech yeah. over on it. Hologram, bam, Tupac bam. up in here, Jill. California love. California yeah, man. Love. Yeah, man. Yeah, we got the uh, the PayPal. Yeah, w- what's over up here? That? The PayPal poster. Not a sponsor. What's going on, Leo? Uh, no well, let's get right to it, folks. Wait, well, before before I get right to it, I just want to say we got a few cool things in store for you today. We have, as you can tell, probably from the title of this video, we got five ways in which Zelda Cinco. is better than Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, it, last week we did. Five ways the Horizon Zero okay. Dawn was better than Zelda. This week we're doing the the opposite. Five five things that Zelda does a little bit better than like, Horizon Zero Dawn. I like how how Alfonso is saying that he I only speak Chinese, but yet, but yet he, he says can, it in English. Yeah, he yeah. can Bra. read Bra. and write. Apparently, he did make a rap <laughs> song job. about about throwing some um, what what was it like like soy sauce on some rice, some white rice. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. if you have soy sauce and you happen to have rice. Yeah, you have to throw it on it on yeah, that on that belief uh, as he says. <laughs> soy sauce rice. But for those of you to- <laughs> joining jo- joining us for the first time, this is a family friendly show, it so is. you won't hear any uh, gratuitous Beep. language, and it, it, we we try to keep gratuitous. it G rated because sometimes wanna- sometimes Leo likes to quote other people. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll raise the bar to PG thirteen. We're we're at yes. we're at about that. Sometimes we, Rick we'll throws in on. there a Friday the Thirteenth trailer where he's just like disclaimers people left and right. Disclaimers. Yeah. We try. We try. <laughs> we, we try. try. <laughs> we try our best. So we have uh, that the Zelda better than Horizon Zero Dawn five different ways. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. We have some advice as to how to acquire one of these little buttes right here. Uh, NES Be- Classic. B e a beautiful. Yep. So we have a little bit of advice on how to acquire one of those. If uh, you guys are still interested, there's rumors that they might be discontinued soon. So we'll we'll get to that as well. Um, We will also talk about why we have some PayPal drama up 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 in this. So a little little bit of a a buyer beware type of thing that I'll be presenting to you shortly. And also uh, we will be talking about the biggest film of this week and the biggest opening for the month of March. There's really, two. Leo? There's two films. Really? There's two big films that opened. 
I don't agree with this one, Leo. And this is uh, his opinion, but we'll go with it. No, I'm I'm talking about the biggest film um, box office wise, okay, money wise, okay. Rogue One. And Rogue. seventy-one million dollars worth domestically. I think Rogue One made more than that, and that was just from December. No, no, I'm talking about March. Oh, March opening. I weekend? did say March. Okay. <laughs> opening yeah, weekend. Yeah, Rogue One is number one, uh, okay. opening all time. But yes, yes, uh, we're talking about Beauty and the Beast. We're gonna be. I'm gonna be bringing you. I went to see it this weekend with the fam. With the fam, with the, fam. With the Jill. They, they were just that incentive to get him to go, like to so that he doesn't. Oh, I was gonna weird. go see it regardless. You know what? Go, concessions, like, I'll bring concessions will always take me to the theater. <laughs> it, it, I don't care what the movie is. <laughs> and it's the popcorn, so, man. They they have to lace the popcorn with some dude. Some because every time you go <laughs> in there, it's like if the smell just traps you. How much is that? Twenty five bucks. All right, here you go. Oh, you <laughs> Ridiculous. Bucks. Yeah. Thank God for those rewards. You know, they just probably scoop now. up all the popcorn on the floor that fell and they just <laughs> oh, no. resell. Yeah. No. Um, Come on. No, oh, no, you no, know no. what? You know what, guys? So, those are the things that we have in store for, in store for, for us today. Show. We're going to be talking about that. There's one one little thing that I want to address, um, and it's regarding one of the biggest voices in the video game community, uh, Colin Moriarty. Uh, you guys mm. know him from Kind of Funny. He was former uh, noon, senior editor from. About that. From IGN, he mm -hmm. he uh, recently resigned he from um, kind of funny, and um, so we want to wish him well in all of his future endeavors. He's going into politics or or something related to that field. Al Franken, um, dude. I guess there was some drama regarding a tweet that he sent. Yeah, out. it started off um, with some. It was the choice the, wording. The, I guess. the choice. women's. It was the women's uh, a day without a woman. Uh, Not the, the march international. March. And was um, it with the international no, no, women? It was when they marched. They, kind of like the immigrant walk. Mm -hmm. They did yeah. the same with women. Yeah, they they did that. And so he tweeted out. He yeah. tweeted out. Ah, uh, a, a <laughs> day without a. Uh, no, he tweeted. Ah, uh, finally some peace and quiet or something like Hashtag that. Hashtag day without women. Hashtag Not endorsing women. him. We don't. So know. Yeah. <laughs> obviously it was a joke. Come on, obviously. Still, but dude. but there but there's there's these. Um, <laughs> These Look, like like we said with these people with, uh, that 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 see it that aren't normally week. normal followers of his so they don't have the context of what he's saying they don't have the context where they know he's a jokester they they know he has a sense of humor and all that stuff so they took it out of context and you know what this that part I don't really care so much about this is what I care about and this is what I bring why I bring it up on our show and it's because it seemed like like the Daddy's other guys the the friends at kind of funny um they kind of issued a sort of a apology and uh on his behalf <laughs> and it was or, worse uh, i think <laughs> and and he, despite him doubling down on his comments like hey it was a joke you know it it some people have a sense of humor and he used a a very colorful choice set of Words, words to dis describe that but you know pretty much it was just a joke and that's what he reiterated and he didn't apologize to nobody he shouldn't have to if it was just a joke if you get it good if you don't you don't and sometimes jokes <laughs> offend people and that's fine but his his buddies his closest buddies they you know they're they're thinking about the image of the the, the production company of of, um, of who they what, represent, what they Business. represent, and obviously they have different uh, I ideals, and he does, but they they kind of apologized, sort of on, on his, his behalf. behalf, and and, and he instead didn't of really do anything, yeah. and instead of Look, um, I'll, I'll instead of backing up their buddy, their best pal, their long term friend, they threw um, him under the bus. <laughs> well, I don't want to throw you guys under the bus. I don't want to go. <laughs> I wouldn't even think I about <laughs> it. I'm like, I don't want to go. Rick did it. I don't want to go did that it. far. <laughs> But I guess what I'm getting to is Big Boy did it. If either one of you ever does something like that, I want everybody to know we're not friends. <laughs> <laughs> we're not friends. We're just we're just a long long term acquaintances. Long term acquaintances. <laughs> that we just happen to hang out with each other. We just at do a show together. together. At the same <laughs> place at the same time. Yeah. Right? It's you, just it's just random. It's, and it's we've been planning this for so <laughs> many years, building chemistry but, with But with this goes back to ourselves. what we were talking about last week with what's his name? Uh J Jaden Smith. Was it last oh, week? Or two yeah, weeks it ago? was last yeah. week. Him and all other celebrities, actors, singers, whatever, in those kind of positions, you have to know, regardless of it being humorous or not regardless of it's towards your audience or not, there's other people out there that are going to read this, hear mm. this, m misunderstand and, and not concept. take it how it was intended. But there, there's also the, the part of me that says, I, I, I sympathize with Colin Moriarty on this point where it's just kind of like, 
you know, at some point you got to stop pretending to be something that you're really not and just be yourself, stand for what you believe in. And if you try to make a joke and some people didn't think it was funny, so that's not really his problem, you know? It's their problem. And yes, there is a responsibility when you're in a position where you have tens of thousands of followers or hundreds of thousands of followers. <laughs> tens of there, there is a certain responsibility. But when you build your brand around being kind of a jokester and a prankster mm -hmm. and also not being... It should be expected. 100% serious all the time. It should be expected. I don't see why suddenly these groups are taking stabs at him. Also in, in other forms of media, they're taking stabs at him for some of the stuff that he said. And, and it's just, uh, I think it's quite unfair. Uh, but it is what it is. And we understand that that's lately how media works. It's, it's not really news. It's entertainment. And they're going to do whatever yeah, shady but, practice that they can do to get clicks just because they yeah, want to be but controversial. But that's the thing. We're, we're in a time. I'm not for or against him or the organization mm -hmm. that is offended. Same, not for or against. Right. But that's what it is. That, that's just oh, how yeah. it is nowadays. That is how it is. Yeah. If someone can bring attention, publicity, propaganda in mm. their favor, then of course they're going to do it. Right, right. And unfortunately, he had just the bad end of that deal. Yeah, yeah. And and I, I mean, I, I completely agree. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of messed up. Um, also, I got a little story. Okay. Moving on. Move along. PayPal. Oh, yes. Do you want? Do you want to get right to it? No, let's let's get this let's get this out of the way. Let's let's figure out why we got this. Okay, this is a short story. I'm not gonna rant for too long. But recently, <clears throat> I sold an item on PayPal, and this is kind of buyer beware. If you guys, uh, uh, I mean, not PayPal. I sold an item on eBay. He sold it. Yeah, move your hand. He didn't buy it. Show them. Show <laughs> them the eBay. Bam. Bam. Yeah, that place. You might recognize it now. No affiliation. <laughs> no affiliation whatsoever. But yeah, but I sold an item through eBay. I hadn't sold through eBay in over ten years, and um, to my surprise, to my surprise, let's just um, say that Leo wanted to make a profit. Yeah, let, let's just say I, I wanted to get rid of something I didn't need. Goods. And I, I wanted to make some money off of it. And so I sold it. I, you know, sold it for a um, higher amount than I, would ex what I was expecting, which is, which is fine. Guess it was bidded on. And um, yeah, and, and so. Then what happened is I I got uh, charged for he got the bill. I, I got charged. <laughs> I got billed for it, Here's which tab, is sir. which is what I was expecting. You know, you get billed for it. You know, and and so and, and it's normal. Uncle Sam. Just like ten years ago, I I they they get their cut too, and I understand that because you're using their very popular service, eBay. So I got billed for it. I got paid for it, and uh, for the rest of it, I mean, and then um. And so I thought, okay, cool. It, it wasn't that much. It was about the same as what I remember it being. And I thought it was going to be more, but it was a little bit less. Because um, I, I would figure, that, you know, with the years passing by, inflation, it's going to be a little bit more. But no, it was about the same as they used to charge. And then about, about a week later, I get an email saying, now you're getting the bill from eBay. So from I was PayPal. like, what is this? So I called and they explained to me like, Oh no no no! The first bill you got was from PayPal, and Second now one now you're eBay. getting the real bill. See, you paid sales <laughs> from, tax. Now you're paying federal tax. Now you're getting the real <laughs> bill from eBay. So I was just kind of like, bill. oh my paid. lord, that that <laughs> selling that thing cost me seventy five dollars just to be able to sell it. And that's why I prefer Amazon to sell things. Oh and oh, it's so true. And I I called him and I told him like, you know what, eBay, um, I I'm not mad. Because I, it's my fault for not looking at the fine print. All those thirty-five pages of fine print. <laughs> it's my fault. My I agree. bad. Click I agree. here. I agree. My Terms bad. And conditions. Agree. Click here. Fool to me agree. once. Shame on me. This is shame <laughs> on me right now, guys. Shame yeah. on me. Shame on you. Yeah. But I don't want you guys, our daddy's game time fans, to be fooled by this. Don't be fooled by them, guys. It's it's don't so, sell on eBay. It's it's it. They're just. And I told him, I told him, you know what, eBay, I have a long-standing relationship with you guys. <laughs> I have a relationship with you guys Lies. that goes way back to almost almost twenty years since and eBay was open. Yeah, since it since before anybody knew what it was, I was already like on it. Yeah, because it, it used to be the Yahoo auctions was the popular right, thing. Right, right. It used then. to be and Yahoo auctions, and then eBay, auction, and then took eBay over. 
was this new thing and then rest Dang, is that history was a time ago yeah. Oh, yeah and so um so i went ahead and and i i told him over the phone like hey you know what amazon i sell through amazon too amazon collects less than half it's only a fraction and it's only of one cut. time fee not two yeah like it's only a fraction of the cut that they take from the item and and they were like what we don't know anything about that we assure you that our services well yeah your service worked but it, it's not it, it's not very profitable for sellers and so if you're you a seller break even if if you barely break even yeah mm -hmm. and so i mean i still ended up making a profit it just I was like oh, what you're after, after, the point? after it was all said and done i was just thinking to myself well it wasn't worth it i, I wouldn't have even done it if i would have known it was going to work that way See, so but, but i, I recommend you if, if, if you're a seller and if you're like a person that's that's going to be selling for the first time and you just selling one thing and you don't plan on fully opening up of like a big old store or whatever just go through amazon it's it's a lot it's a lot better that way it's a lot easier it's a lot more Wasn't customer there a seller friendly this, this I, is I your cue rig to shut, shut I just wanted to say, did it? Wasn't there a split supposedly happening or going to happen or should have happened? There was an acquisition. I forget if it was PayPal that that acquired eBay. Uh, eBay, or bought, eBay bought PayPal, or eBay bought PayPal. Mm -hmm. So, so I did bring that up. So, so it's like, kind of like, like why are point, you guys? <laughs> what? Why are you guys Gotta pay charging? Yourself. Why are <laughs> pay you yourself. charging me twice? You're the same company, and they're like, no, they're separate entities. And like, no, you're not. <laughs> like, you, well, one's a subsidiary. But anyway, anyway, so what was that? So, guys, moving on. You guys remember the good old days, the Nintendo days, the 8 bit platform, Super Mario Brothers. As you can see right here on our screen, once you get to working, uh, these are the classics. These are the 8 bits. This is how most of us learn how to play video games right after the Atari days, right after the video game market crash. I, ga I gotta say, lately I've been playing some of the old school games. They're awesome, dude. They're and awesome. I just. I forgot how freaking difficult they were, man. Put that over there. Put it, put it yeah, there, over there. There were some gnarly hand-eye coordination <laughs> stuff going on right there. So the Memorization of patterns and all that. This right here, this is a most sought-after uh, video game item of late last year and this year. Mm -hmm. You can't find Even it Even more than the Switch, I would have to say, because yes. there's plenty of Switches uh, coming to stores, trickling in, but this... I don't know if you, you can don't see this in stores. I don't know if you can see this. This is the old school OG NES Nintendo. This is what most of us grew up with. Um, I never owned one. I couldn't afford it. <laughs> That's squeaky. Um, this thing still works, by Listen the way, though. This. I bought this a few years back, and when I hooked it up, it was like <laughs> magic. It was like a like, like a, a time rocking machine. chair. Um, so, because the connections to modern TVs are not Sorry. possible nowadays, um, now. Nintendo gave us this. The Nintendo Classic or NES Mini, how most people call it. This came all the way from Spain, guys. This is so bad. This Espanol. is as bad that basically... España. Okay, you got to put this back as I can be holding two things with one hand. Yes, you oh. can. <laughs> this basically Figure it out. had to be ordered at Amazon Spain because I can't find it here in the U.S., um, it goes on sale and it sells out within minutes. Right now, we're going to open this. I haven't opened it yet. This is a European version. It comes in like, uh, I don't know, like 10, 15 languages. Question, how many euros did it cost and how much is that in US dollars? Um, I can't remember the exact euros, but I know it was 75 bucks shipped. So Amazon has What's the this, retail here? Uh, 59 Well. If so you think not, about it, big of a if, jump. if you think about it, if you pay sixty for it, you're gonna pay about six dollars for it in tax here in the state of California. Yes. So you're looking at almost seventy, and so with shipping, uh, it's not too bad. I mean, it's quite a bit over over the, um, the MSRP. price, the MSRP, but it's I think it's well worth it for this type of item. So there it is. That's the user manual, I believe. Um, it has a code that I'm not going to show you because I don't want you to steal it. Basically, um, you register it with my Nintendo and you get rewards. Uh, so go on and register a bunch of skin. <laughs> yeah, before he does. <laughs> do it now. Come wow. on. Okay. Do it now. Okay. Look at this. Get to the registration screen. Look at how tiny this is, guys. I mean, 
Oh my god, dude! It almost, it almost seems like it's just like a prop. That like, is so cool. <laughs> now I wish is, I would have ordered it. This is a Nintendo classic. See, guys. but but look, okay, look sit it, sit it on top of of the daddy. Uh, uh, okay, <laughs> that's on the, top of the mothership. Okay, hold this, please. That's that's the son, and there's the daddy. Look at this. In the '80s, this is what it took <laughs> to power the system, the console, to to get games one game at a time. In in. The 80s technology defense. Nintendo only made it that big. Most of that is just air in there. If you have ever <laughs> opened up a Nintendo yes. unit, it's it's they made it in that way so it looks more like a VCR. They were trying to get the unit away from looking like um like a home uh, like like a video game console. It they, doesn't they open guys. It they didn't open. want it to to have a top loading uh, video well, game yeah, I had system. to slide in, but it, they wanted a, a front loading system like VCRs had back in the 80s. They wanted it to look like a slick piece of technology, and that's the reason why they went with this really, really bulky design. Oh but my I mean, god, even, guys, even if this oh, like half wow. that size, that would have okay, Leo. Try this, okay, let me see, just let me try see that. Just I, try and that. I have my NES at home, my original There's NES with the controllers. And does, um, does I have that bring you memories. I have watch. to say, I have to say, this feels a little bit clickier than than I remember. MX my, switches, my controllers, <laughs> and of this course HDMI clickier. cable. The the HDMI? old the old NES controller was worse than this. To PCN be honest, PCN is with the you. micro USB. Uh, yes. Yeah, this is two ports, nice and control clicky, one, control two, nice and clicky. Boom! It comes it comes with the USB charging cable. Okay. This version does not come with an AC charger. The American version does have it, but the European Union is having this law where they're wanting, they're trying to get rid of extra adapters, basically, for the environment. So they're assuming that if you have a cell phone, you have a charger that you can just exchange cables with and use it. Um, so that's the only difference from this version, from the European version to the American version. And well, let me tell funny. you, this is the power button here mm -hmm. is a push just like like it is on this oh that's on, awesome on the original but this is a click the reset it's oh, just it's a, a click. click yeah so it's the same as that it's the same as the other one isn't it the other yeah. one's just the same well this one kind no, of they all push they both push in. they both push in on on the original this no, one th clicks th in the other one yeah, pushes they push in. in and this one clicks oh yeah so so let me tell you how i got my hands on this there is a website and i'm going to tell you the secret no affiliation. They're, they're not sponsoring us, but I want to give them a shout out because up, up, down, down. it's because of them that I have this now. Um, now in stock, that net. Now in stock is a service that gives you alerts of any hard to find product. You can find the N that NES Classic, good. the Switch, like the Legend of Zelda Special Edition. It tells you right away when they go on sale. So if Best Buy, GameStop, Toys R Us, Target, etc., they put up the NES Classic on sale, they'll let you know, it's on sale now. Go, 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 go. They sell out within minutes, though. Not even five minutes, not even six minutes, sold out. I can imagine, good. like, within, like, five minutes, yes. websites crashing, servers dying. But yep. the interesting thing about this is that the European Union has this thing where they don't really put the consoles for sale right away they give you a pre-order because they want to know how many they're going to sell so late february pre-order went out for amazon spain i just went in bought it used my american visa uh, debit card and it went through through the transaction because amazon takes care of the uh, transaction fees they don't charge you anything but your bank has to be authorized to be able to convert it from euros mm -hmm. uh, to dollars which most banks, I think, automatically do. I think do. most of them do. And so, like I was saying at the beginning, at the end, with shipping and everything, it came out to about 75 76 bucks. See, that's not bad. If, if the console itself was being sold for 60 and you basically paid shipping, mm -hmm. that's not bad. Yeah. If you were to play, pay about 100 or more, I'd say you're crazy. Yes. Yeah. And here's the interesting thing that I was noticing because I also ordered a Nintendo Switch. It's coming from the U.K., not from mm. Spain, from Amazon, the UK. I noticed that the UK does not ship this once. It says right at the bottom, not for shipping to the United States, <laughs> which is kind of interesting. I think only Amazon does this, where they will ship it to you. And Spain has a message under the switch that says, not shipped to the United States. 
So if you want to switch, you have to go to the Amazon UK website. If you want a Nintendo Classic, go to Amazon Spain. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. It's very interesting. That's really now, cool. As far as Who the actual that, so. usage of really it, weird, because you got it from a different country, in this case, Spanish. I mean, I know you can read Spanish, but will anything change internally? I don't know. We don't know yet. And right now, if you have a chance, go to now, nowinstock.net. That's the website. Go right. there, and then they will let you know as soon as it goes up on Amazon, on Spain, or the UK, go and freaking do it if you really want one. Because we don't know how long that's going to last. Because I know that in Japan, when the Switch went for sale, a lot of people ordered from Japan their Switch, and it got canceled. Nice. They're like, oh. no, we're not going to ship to the U.S., so it's kind of interesting. Uh, do it while you can. I mean, I'm, I was lucky enough that, I mean, look at this. Now I have one. And it works the same way. It's the same exact games. Uh, no region coded, nothing. It works the same way. The and, only it's, and it's hackable, too. And it's so. hackable, which we don't condone that. But it's possible. I the wonder only if, difference. if hacking it reduces its collect uh, collectible value. It could, probably. But you well, can you always go back. Are tempering. You right. can always go back to the actual original system as well. Oh, That's okay. the cool thing about it. Hard reset. But <laughs> the only thing to keep in <laughs> mind is that it does not come with a wall AC adapter. But so it comes with a charging cable. For that uh, if you don't have one. This thing is so small. This requires almost no power that you can hook up the USB cable to a TV Oh, it's enough to power yeah, it off of that. It's enough to power it. Then you so. don't even use the, you oh, don't need nice. the adapter at you all. Then you don't. Nice. So before we do anything else, there's a comment that they're saying uh, they're asking what were those numbers again. I'm not sure what numbers you're talking to. So uh, I think it's the price. Uh, I think he means the price. And uh, like I said, it came out to about seventy five dollars. Seventy five US. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I am not really into collecting or. For having fun. Or for having have, fun. Or, <laughs> for enjoying <laughs> life. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> but 75 seems reasonable to me. If if the actual value is yeah, 60. It totally is. 75 Especially is for an reasonable. item that's so like, well, elusive after. and can't find it anywhere. The euro is a little more expensive than the dollar. So that's True. that's how you can kind of see the The conversion the did kind of help you out yeah. there. Mm -hmm. If you go to any what Walmart, Best Buy, Target, if you ask them, hey, when do they're you get not one? They're going to tell you, dude. You, you can't find out. I mean, they're, I mean, I, mean, I don't know. Being Maybe you got a buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you got a buddy in there that can help mm -hmm. you out. But for, for the most part, uh, right. we get shipment on Tuesdays. Yeah. But sometimes Well, this Wednesdays. website tells you, they, they tell you Target's getting a shipment tomorrow. And nice. Target usually gets them on Sundays. Wow. But you have to be there like as soon as the store opens. <laughs> and you have to talk to a manager. And be nice about it and say, like, dude, did you get any shipment in? And yeah. they may be like, all right, like, you know. Fine. <laughs> yes. So. No, all mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I have my top five list again. Let's this hear time, it. this time, not Horizon over Zelda. This time, it's Zelda over Horizon. Oh, the other way around. And these are all based off of Leo's opinion. Yes, of course, this is yours all can Leo. vary. Ours, yeah, we haven't <laughs> played the games. It's my opinion. It's my but, opinion. Uh, but let's see what Leo's got, got yeah, it so for us. Five ways Zelda is better than Horizon Zero Dawn. And I'm going uh, from my least, least important to the most important, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. So, number five, the puzzles. Um, I think Zelda, <laughs> Zelda Zelda's historically always that, has dude. always had some wonderful, yeah. wonderful puzzle design. And this game is no exception. Zelda Breath of the Wild. Give him a tic-tac. So, yeah, yeah, this, this game, I think, has much, much better puzzle design with those, the, the, the dungeon, the the dungeons and, <laughs> the <dungeon>. and, <laughs> and <laughs> those other areas. You guys know what I'm talking about. And um, where, where, you know, he just goes and does his pu gets his puzzle thing on, you know, and it kind of gets his puzzle and thing it, on. And breaks up the, uh, the <laughs> TG-13, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> Rick. Rick, come on, Rick. Come on, man. <laughs> get your mind out of the gutter. So get puzzles. It, get into the, the game. It's in the consoles right now. So, yeah, the puzzles, I think, they're better than, than they are in Horizon Zero Dawn. Horizon Zero Dawn has, they're, like, very minimal, to be honest. It's, it's not really about the puzzles. Lick it, Rick. Lick it. Lick it. Oh, this, is <laughs> this is hella dirty. For, the reason why they're saying that, uh, previous or right before this show, we did our Spanish show. Next week, we're going to do it for you guys. And he un he, he pulled out the, the little mini uh, Zelda, Zelda cartridge, cartridge, and supposedly they've got this chemical to deter kids <laughs> from putting it in their mouth. Yeah. And Leo licked it. Actually, I licked it, too. But 
Leo, I guess, Leo got licked the, it all off. <laughs> Leo, Leo licked one side, which was, that I guess, was doused in the chemical. <laughs> tasted like and on my side, I tasted nothing. <laughs> Don't ask me how I know that. Well, <laughs> anyway, I number just, uh, four. <laughs> <laughs> the interaction slash physics. I think uh, Zelda has better interaction with the world. Like anything you hey, see, you can climb. Anything that you see, you can, in one form or another, in, uh, interact with it. If you throw rocks down a hill, Pull, push, the rocks roll. are, are going to roll down that hill. If you throw something or you drop a, a weapon down somewhere, it's going to like roll off in some way, shape, or form. It has real physics. Whereas in Horizon Zero Dawn, as you can see in the example behind us, like you can be swimming around some fish, but you don't really interact or they don't really react to you. Um, whereas in Zelda, you can actually catch fish by swimming. Hmm. Um, whereas it's, it just seems like... Um, I mean, it does have interaction. Don't get me wrong. Horizon Zero Dawn is still really good at what it does, but Zelda just does it a little better. Hmm. It's just a little better. And and this isn't like way like, oh, you know, game busting physics or whatever. It, But like as as you can see through the video playing behind us, um, every for every action, there's a reaction. And that doesn't necessarily hold true for every single little thing in the world of Horizon. So... Interaction p- phys- and physics. Is Link holding him hostage there? Yeah. Did he just shoot him with an arrow? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's, That's how Link. I was looking. And at Horizon Zero Dawn, like they don't even react to to when she's like fooling around. They're like, like up? A, yeah. <laughs> so, number three, number three, non-linearity. Do you guys want to know what that is? Uh, it means I'm not a straight line. Exactly. <laughs> it gives you freedom to explore. Like like whereas is uh, at least through the beginning of Horizon, it's a little bit more linear because they want you to, uh, they want you to, to get into the storyline. They want to kind of teach you what this is all about, what you're really fighting for, what what you're really trying to survive for, and um, and tell you the story that way. Whereas in Legend of Zelda, they're like. If you don't like this, well, if you don't look, care about the story, you don't have to care. Just, just go out and play. Yeah, they just Electric compared and, what they did right there, can. right? Right. <laughs> so it, it's exactly what I was talking about earlier. Well, and those graphics look good, though, dude. I mean, I know they're dumbed down, like you're saying, but I can help. Well, they're, they're the stylized. Cell sh- the they're yeah. stylized. The cell shading? And the Zelda, yeah. Yeah, and, and it just comes to personal preference. Uh, from a technical standpoint, yes, Horizon does have better graphics. But I think from a stylized standpoint, these types of graphics have shown in the past to hold up better with the test of time. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at games like Jet Set Radio with cell shading. Yes. I'm looking no at No More Heroes. No More Heroes. Like, like No More Heroes. Oh, they announced a game for the Switch. Like the Wind Waker, you know. And so this is, I think, going to be one of those things where we're going to get a 4K remix at some point. Of, 4K! Of this game. Uh, but yeah, the non-linearity, freedom to explore, I think uh, Zelda has it beat because you could just go anywhere right from the start. Huevo if de you, ave. <laughs> if you are skilled Spanish, enough, Spanish language up if on you the are skilled cool. enough in, in Legend of Zelda, you can go straight to, to Calamity Ganon's castle Calamity. and start Is and, that, and start. I don't it, know. You know? I, I got to say that name rem- makes me think like he's got like a big old... Hat, big old, <laughs> no, big old mustache. I think that's big old boots. monster, calamity. monster form, and you know, like, like a western. <laughs> well, every time I think of calamity, it's like <laughs> oh, calamity. Oh, that's what I think about. I don't know. Okay, I don't know what that was, but <laughs> okay. see, I think of a uh, uh, what was what's that character? Um, Old twenties movies. Oh, the calamity. The, ah. the calamity. little guy from Looney Tunes. Uh, Sam. What, what's his name? Uh, I Rick, forget you're his name. Up Special the, time. The, the cowboy hat, tight pants, boots. Oh, uh, uh, oh, God. Uh, Yosemite Sam. Yosemite Sam. That Calamity Ganon reminds me of like <laughs> that. Just like a pig snout for, you know. Okay. The, I see okay, it. Continue. I see it. Okay. So, number two, replayability. Uh, yes, Horizon Zero Dawn has a long storyline, it has a long campaign. There's a lot of stuff you can do that's additional to the storyline. But it seems like, again, Zelda has it topped in terms of side quests, collectibles, and all these extra pieces that you can find throughout the world in there. And all these hidden little Easter eggs, hidden little details that I I think it it lends itself, after you beat the game, uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, lends itself to higher replayability. And, And I think that's 
that's great. You know, I, I think it's one of those things that's going to keep people not just playing to the campaign, but playing beyond the campaign. I've already heard about people um, logging like over 500 hours of gameplay into Dang. this game. That's only been From out for for uh, a couple like of how weeks. many hours are in a day about dude 20. exactly <laughs> like, you know so, so from uh, side quests aside uh has there been an official like you know just a to b or start to finish i'm main sure story have, have have they said for both sides of the game or of each game i mean like actual time oh time. uh average average completion time for mm-hmm. for, the for campaign both. mode i guess like without exploring without doing any side quests well there there's i mean it's they're so different because um Breath of the Wild, you can get right to it if you're doing like a, uh, uh, what's it called, a speed run. Mm-hmm. Um, I think people have been been able to beat it in under 50 minutes now. Five oh wow, Dang. yeah. And uh, whereas Horizon Zero Dawn, it's not that type of a game. Uh, but from what I've heard, like just straight legit playing. So it's Horizon like a Zero rail Dawn, where you have to go from like how they are telling you to go. Like you can't really explore outside of that line. In which for Horizon. 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 It, the the world is built in Horizon to where there's like like mountainous areas mm-hmm. where you can't climb beyond certain points because okay. you die because of the cold. Right, and you're not equipped yet. So it's their way that. to tell you you don't you you can't come here exactly. Okay. Or there's cliffs I and you can't you. climb right. those cliffs. And Zelda sort of does a similar thing as well, where there's there's um, a cliff that you can't go beyond, mm-hmm. but um, but you you can if you're skilled enough, uh, you can go ahead and and you know kind of get around that or, or, or go beyond it. So that's one of those things that that um, as Zelda does, it gives you just a little bit more freedom um, once you get past a certain point. You know, right, right. And uh, it's not designed for you, the your average gamer to do that, but the 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 really witty ones, the ones that that can go ahead and manipulate the system they can they can go ahead and do these just insane speed runs mm. and that that's really cool i i mm. like i like what they're doing i like those speed runs that i'm seeing so, so what far. happens what happens say that you don't complete what they're telling you to do in horizon uh, i mean is there a penalty or because you're trying to explore yeah is it like like missions like are you timed or it's it's a little bit more linear where you have to get to a certain point you have to explore a uh, certain thing you have to get a certain something to to get something i i'm being very vague because i don't want to ruin it for you guys. like ah, like but, um but yeah it's 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 very direct the last like, of us. like you have to just get kind of it's like, a to B, like kill enemies like in go to go to point b but along the way you can there's do m- many different routes okay. you can take and also depending on what routes you take there's people along the way that are going to be asking you for some favors you know side missions or you can go ahead and go exploring on your own and say like, oh, a special kind of beasts, uh, beast uh, exists in this zone that, that has been spotted before that contains a special kind of item. If I defeat the beast, I can go ahead and take this item and, and benefit from it in <laughs> later can't battles. break them. So, <laughs> so yeah, that, that goes with the physics interactivity <laughs> that I was speaking about earlier. And, and, and number one, number one, nostalgia. Nobody... Maybe just maybe Super Mario has it beat in terms of the nostalgia factor. At least in my world, it does. But Zelda nostalgia, it goes hand in hand. It's uh, it, it just brings you back. It brought me back playing through Zelda. I couldn't put it down. Um, it brought me back to the times in November of I think it was two thousand eight. Turkey, you know, <laughs> yeah, Thanksgiving time Turkey Day. where the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time was oh, released man. for the Nintendo 64. This has a Dude. similar feeling to it. It, it truly does. It's. I think it's a shame, though, that these two games, Horizon Zero Dawn and Legend of Zelda, came, came out, out the same so time. So close yeah. to each other just because I think those are both great, great games. In their own And it, I'm style. kind of like pulled between the two of them because zelda i can just pick up and play and take it around my house and c- continue playing it wherever and it's a little bit Go more to the of bathroom. a bathroom a little bit more of a casual game and whereas uh breath uh, whereas horizon zero dawn is that game that just pulls you in yeah. and once it has you oh yeah like you don't even want to get up to go to the bathroom <laughs> man it's just kind of like 
stay here. <laughs> stay here. You got to know what happens next. I'll it's risk a my really colon good health line for this has. game. So, so <laughs> all 10 points stand. I'm not going back on any of the five points that I made last week or any of the five points I'm making and this didn't week. watch last week's they, show. They're both, both um, great games in their own respects. They're going to have something for everybody. And I know that the fanboys on both sides are going to be up at arms and they're trying to going to try and explain why Their this game, game is, is better, better than that but I just say enjoy both games they're both wonderful games so just a little recap number 5 puzzles number 4 interaction/physics number 3 nonlinearity/freedom to explore number 2 the replayability there's tons of collectibles inside quests and number 1 the nostalgia factor it just Brought me Zelda, back yeah. to that year. What was it, 97 or 98? It, it must have been 98. Where Ocarina came out. So that that was I think so. a wonderful, wonderful game. You guys uh, have anything to add to this? No, I just got to play them. Got to gotta wait for my Switch. Do it, it's coming man. from the UK. You've got the game, <laughs> but no Switch. Yep. So. Yeah. <laughs> And I'll, I can already, I'll eventually see, play I can it. already envision you like getting way past where I'm at because I'm so distracted for Dude, Horizon. Dude, once I get my hands on that thing, it's like there's no, like, no coming game back. Game over. We don't, later, wife and we, kid. We don't. We don't. We're, we're never gonna talk about Pancho anymore. Yeah, because like, like, I'm not even gonna be here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll put a stand in. Yeah, yeah we have one actually. <laughs> we, have one. we will use it at one point. And what is this, yeah. Leo? We'll see. What's so, that? moving on to the review. This is a review oh, yeah. for I totally forgot we Beauty had this st- and the store. Beast. Oh, my goodness gracious. I went to see it this weekend with a fam fam. The fam. And, um, and I was fam, like, fam. okay, bam, so bam. they're remaking it. It's going to be like that Cinderella film that came out a few years ago. Maybe Maleficent. I haven't even seen it yet. And, um, I saw Maleficent. And it was uh, all right. Maleficent wasn't the remake, though. It was kind of like Her a re- story. Re- story. Re- reimagining yeah. of that story. Um, so, in a sense, was uh, Cinderella. But is this like the actual? And this. Story? Oh, <laughs> this. Oh. It just hit the spot, man. It was uh, Beauty and the Beast from Disney from, what was it, 1992, 93? 94, actually. 94. I think no, it was 94. 94 was Lion King. Oh, you're right. So 93, 93 was 93. 93 was Aladdin. So this must oh. have been 91 or 92. No, 92 was Aladdin and then this, I think. And so I anyway, could be wrong. Early anyways, 90s. Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> this hit every single stride perfectly every single little plot point the way it's it's performed the way aesthetically that it looks it has that disney magic 100 percent. and you know what there's a few things that they changed a few things that they added um nothing i think was taking away from the original movie they just add a little bit more spice into it and you know what this is a wonderful family film. How's the I CGI? I strongly, strongly recommend <laughs> for... You know, this, this, this film has a perfect blend of um, stylization with the sets, with the costumes, with everything that's in it. Mm-hmm. That it blends in perfectly with the CGI. CGI, you can tell it's CGI, but everything just blends in so well because it, it's it's so romanticized in, in terms of its style, in terms of its art direction, that it, it everything goes perfectly together. So it's never a distraction at any point. And the the music, you guys know I love musicals. <laughs> this is a musical. Oh God. This is they added a few songs, and I love disney for doing that they did they did no wrong with this film they if replay you love the original replay film that. i, I want to see that again I if you love it, it doesn't convince me if you love the original <laughs> you're gonna love this film there I, I i'm not a big I fan might, of the original i must admit oh no then you might might not like it so much but i was i, I mean, was, was a big a, fan it was, of a, the original. it was a cool disney movie but it was like eh. yeah i mean and, i'm sure my wife would probably like it but oh I'm my not, gosh i'm not going in with expectations from the moment the first the, 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 the movie starts off with a song, you know, just like the cartoon does. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Look look at this. Look at this comment. What? Have you been watching our show? Girl, we always <laughs> talk about movies. What are you talking about? Our intro does say <laughs> yeah, we got his Paris movies here talking tech, about pop culture. You guys talk about movies now? That's that's our motto. Games, movies and pop culture. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, come anyway, on now. Gotta, stay, stay. Keep, gotta, keep it here. Keep it here. We love keep it here. you. We, Thank we you for watching. You. you gotta have. You, you, you got another comment. Viewers. How how do you like the preview for Coco? What's Coco? Coco. Oh yeah, the new Conan O'Brien film. There's what? a film. No, I'm just kidding. No, no. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> what? What? On a okay, Disney well, movie. Let, let me just finish saying this, and I'll get to Coco right, right, to right, answer your question. Um, yeah. This movie, I might lose my man card for this, but I have no shame. You guys know this. I think you lost it a long time ago. I don't care. I don't care. What other people You're think about me is You're none of credit. my business. <laughs> what other people think about me is none of my business. <laughs> none of my that business. That is very true, yes. So, I almost cried with the first song <laughs> that came out in this film. I was just kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> it's it's just like the original. So I was bad. like I was like it's just like the original. It's just like the original. You know, and then it's if, funny that you mentioned that. And then like that? the third and fourth songs played, and I was just there like, if my. you had any possibility of ever getting that man like, card back, <laughs> oh, I don't care that, that for that. It man now card. got shredded. I don't care. About Look at that this man comment card. right here. Is it the cried one of? Uh, I oh, I the the more with Beauty and the Beast than Logan. <laughs> well, I I did, but because I haven't seen Logan yet. <laughs> so I want to see. Hopefully Logan. this weekend. This will be. This so will be what, the weekend. What, what brought you to that? Because both of them came out this weekend, right? So why no, not Logan? Logan came out last. Little weekend. girls. Little yeah. girls. Oh. I mean, come on. My daughters, man. My family. Well, they all true. wanted yeah, to go see it. Can't really take and it. I'm like, so glad. Ah. I'm so glad because <laughs> this is one of those movies where I was just like, well, I really want to see Logan. And and like, but, but I'd my, rather see Beauty and the but Beast. My, <laughs> but my daughters were like, "We want to see Beauty and the Beast," and that's not going to be an option, Dad. Yeah. See, I, especially because they got really that. good grades. They got oh. good grades. So I'm like, "Here, awesome! Here you go. Congrats, Reward girls! Let's go to the movie theater." Good job. Yeah. So, so I I can't. I don't know. Just Gaston was perfect. <laughs> Gaston, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude I have this really, you're like, I have this you're like going feeling o- going through my over, body right over now. Over nerd over here. Like, he is. I Everybody can't. was just so perfect, man. See <laughs> the cartoon, the the, the animation, <laughs> that beast. Disney, you're that, doing things right, Disney. That beast <laughs> followed <laughs> that look, like that werewolf look, where it right. had the tiny legs and the not I tiny, think, but I think skinny the, legs the, and the um, huge upper body. This just doesn't. I think the cut original beast was had more of like a lioness. Yes, he did. Uh, buffalo mm-hmm. top. Whereas this one had like the cuter wolf boy like top. He was got, like, impressive. A yeah. He was impressive, you know. Like, and like this he one looks scary. Look, he looked yeah. like a beast. He's yeah. still he's still a beast, but now he's more like they went more with like the gentle furry, soft furry type. See, but that's what doesn't them. that's what and, doesn't um, get my attention. I want to see a beast. If yeah, they took X Men's beast and threw him on there, no. And, and you know what? <laughs> I was thinking the same thing, but you also gotta think about it. it's live action, and they gotta realistically make it seem like. Like she might actually fall in love with this dude if he's butt ugly. That's, they're not gonna. Do, that's the whole. Do it. That's the whole that's point scary. of the story. I don't that's care story. how nice you are. If Isn't you're butt that the ugly. whole point of the story? <laughs> she doesn't care about this. Not not me. Oh, that's but the movie. Come on, <laughs> come on. Oh, we know yeah. the truth. We know the truth. We can't say it out loud for all you ladies out there, but we know the truth. PG thirteen. You could be PG-13. the nicest guy in the world, but if you don't got the rico suave <laughs> looks, you ain't getting. You 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 ain't falling in love with no ugly, <laughs> with no but beast? ugly looking beast. <laughs> did he uh, growl good? Did oh. he growl good? Oh boy, did he? He's like, rawr, rawr. <laughs> and you know what? You know what? It just seems like our like our, <laughs> our favorite Jedi was the Candelabre. Oh, uh, Obi Wan Kenobi. Yeah, Obi Wan. Was, yeah, was he? He was surprised. I was surprised. I was like, that guy sounds familiar. So <laughs> mir, and then, and then at the he, end like, of the light film, his like, hand like, and he's like. <laughs> <laughs> Speak, dude. Speaking oh, of Obi Wan Kenobi, I know you don't watch Rebels, dude. I have to encourage you to watch Star Wars Rebels. Watch it, not me. Dude, you watch, watch it. it. Like this last it. episode, dude. Like, Iron Fist. Yeah. Well, I've been watching Iron Fist. What, what was that? Uh, but uh, oh. I guess we'll talk more about it next week. Next week. Next week. Show next week. week. We, we that way I can it. actually start watching it too. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm about halfway ooh. done. So I know it got mediocre reviews, but I'm I'm loving I'm, it. I'm man. digging it. I'm loving it. I am yeah. digging it. Yeah, man. It's, it's a good it's a good show. Watch it. Netflix free. See, Sebastian knows what I'm saying. Rebels. Geo. See, Geo. Rebels. Yeah, man. Oh yeah. So so. What did you ask? Oh, Coco. Coco. Oh, yeah. Coco. Coco. What's, Miss what's Perez. This was for you. No, no, that Coco. was Liana. Was it? Yeah, yeah it Liana. was somebody else. Miss Miss Schaefer. Schaefer. Am I saying right? Yeah. Schaefer. Miss Schaefer. This is for you. Coco. Uh, <laughs> what is Coco? Oh, compadre. Yeah. This is, um, the, the this is pretty much. 
It's because it's a Mexican movie. Oh, okay. Uh, Coco. Uh, <laughs> Coco. Coco. It's not Coco. It's Coco. Coco. It's not Coco. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much the Book of Life, but Pixar's version of it. Hmm. And in this version of it, Book of Life was the, actually pretty cool. I like. There's a little I boy. The, well, it. the trailer is about this. Li- well, let me let me pull it. Oh, you you pull it up. Can you? Nah, uh, can no, you just go, just go with it. Okay, we'll be there. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna mess things up here. We'll, we'll do that for some <laughs> other time. Okay, okay. we'll set so, it up there later. So, Book of Life. There's a little kid. He's um, watching television, and that's what it's all about, Dyson. Who is, is Dyson? Hi, Dyson. I, I, Hi, Dyson. <laughs> do, do we know Dyson? Dyson says, I don't Daddy's know. game time. Woo-hoo! I'm sorry. I, I didn't hey, know. Yeah. Any fan of our show, is, uh, we're a fan of theirs. So thank with you, like, Dyson. With like five or six um, exclamation points. We love yes. that stuff. We love exclamation yeah. points. <laughs> Keep them coming. <laughs> Anyways. Coco. Coco. Yeah, Coco. Mex- <laughs> Mexican Dang little it. boy. You know, you can see the Mexican little house and architecture and all that. Right, and right. he's watching the one and only. Uh, what, what's his name? Um, Pedro Infante. Pedro, Pedro Infante on television. Are you serious? Yes. No. Pe- he's watching Pedro. You know? No. You know what? Screw you what? guys. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on. You need to see this. What? You need to throw, see this. Throw what? Standby so that we don't. No. No standby. No. 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 no, no, no. He's going in dry. He's what he's the going, heck? Going, Francisco, it's a family friendly <laughs> show. What are you talking about, man? PG-13. What are you? <laughs> I'm hyperventilating. I am glad <laughs> I said your name right because uh, I was oh, I was kind of debating Frank. on that. Gosh, but thank you for Frank. the comment. We we <laughs> appreciate all your support. Okay, here we go. Pixar. So, so this little boy, he's, oh, he's Mexican, okay. you know, architecture, this whole style. That's how my room looks. <laughs> and he has <laughs> no his, his no favorite. electricity. <laughs> all his, candle- his favorite actor is Pedro Infante. We know in in the film they can't really say Pedro Infante, but we all as Mexicans, Holy crap. we we Dude, know who it is. That is <laughs> Pedro Infante. <laughs> I just threw it out there, dude. Oh, what the heck? That, that is him, dude. Wow. I mean, they're not going to say it is, but that's Holy that's who he's based crap. on all the way. Oh, and my God. If you guys don't know who Pedro Infante is, and, look him up. It's, and this... Wow. He's a... He's a famous uh, Mexican actor from the old days of from the, the black and white like uh, television. 40s, 50s. Yeah. The Age of Gold, as they wow. call it in, in okay. Mexican cinema. I'm impressed. And this kid loves guitar. That's like his idol. And I guess his mother... Um, has never told him who his biological father is. Is it Pedro and, Infante? And he like uh, it, th- throughout this, <laughs> it's gotta be we him, s- right here. We see some oh, clues. Oh yes, it's we gotta see, be Pedro Infante. We what see the heck? clues that he he's starting to find out who his biological father is. Wait. Oh, dude, and, I already want to watch and, and this. Hold on. Man. He goes, he goes into the city. Look right hold here. On. He's like walking Whoa. into like Mexican Graceland <laughs> and to touch the guitar, <laughs> and somehow he ends up. In the world of the dead, de, de los muertos, dude, okay. dude. I was gonna say for a second there, I thought there was forget, a comedian forget <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. that did a story that he forget said that his father movie. looked like him. But anyway, this is it. I gotta see this, dude. When does it come out? Is it this year? It's gotta be. This I think year. it said fall. Oh, dude, if I'm not mistaken. Well, it's gotta be by Day of the Dead, so it makes sense. Yeah, it looks dude. looks interesting enough. I remember this movie. I thought it was supposed to come out the same year as Book of Life did. Yeah, yeah, dude. Then, I'm then starting they, to cry they, right now. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to you? Be in the, <laughs> the Disney Coming magic soon. is yeah, back. Dude. <laughs> uh, yeah. Wow. Okay. Pause it. Pause it. No. Wow. All right. So, I'm impressed. So, yeah, man. It's, I'm impressed. It's, it's, it's good. It's good. It does, I mean, it you got does, another question. It does look interesting. Have you seen the preview for Life with Jake uh, Gyllenhaal? Gyllenhaal. I'm, as, I'm assuming they're, they're trying Life. to say Gyllenhaal. So, um... So yeah, uh, I I haven't, I, I don't remember. Have you have you seen that? that preview? No, I haven't. We can probably see it and and uh, maybe for next week's episode. Yeah, yeah we'll, 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 we'll check, check it out, it out we'll for next out. episode. Yeah, we're doing a lot of fan service today. <laughs> hey, 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 don't take Thank advantage you. of us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hey, Sebastian, we, we like that's, that. that's exactly what we were saying. That it sounds like the book of life. The book of life. Yeah, yeah. I I started watching that, but I I can never finish it. I'm at the part where they're doing the bullfighting, and you're like already at the end. I, Really? No, wait. No, that's, that's like at the beginning, yeah. isn't yeah, yeah. it? Oh, that that yeah. part. Oh, and, and I can't believe you stopped watching. It's one of the the greatest. It's not because animated I don't films. want to. It's just you know time, life. Oh, well, well, you know, yeah. it happens. Yeah, that's true. Well, that's you better true. watch it before you get your switch. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. after that, <laughs> I'm no, a goner. No more Pancho. No more Pancho. Any any parting words? I I just want to say thank you all so much. 
for joining us here at Daddy's Game Time. You, we do appreciate. I know we joke around a lot, but we really, <laughs> truly appreciate no, all of your yeah. support that you've given us. Uh, th- it goes beyond what I thought we would be able to accomplish the first uh, few years. You know, we we've been doing this. I'm not gonna lie and say we've been working extremely hard, but this we is, have put in a lot of. We man try. Hours. We try. We but we do try, but we also, you know, our priorities have always been with our families first and foremost. And Daddy's Game Time is a hobby that that's, we That's we what this have. show is basically all about. This is our life as fathers, but also as gamers, as geeks or nerds. Right. So we're going to always Enthusiasts. put family first above anything else, but we're not going to forget who we are or what we like. And yeah. we do talk about so movies. Whether you like it or not. <laughs> we talk about movies. Whether you like it or not, whether you understand it or not. Um, we grew up with this technology. We grew up with video games. We grew up with the pop culture, the the, the films. The, we were you know, the kids all that, that other kids made fun of. Yeah, up. and <laughs> you know because and for, for are, one reason or we another, we are the ones that they made fun of, but now want to be. Yes, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, um, so yeah, th- this is something that's very special to us. We don't monetize any of our videos. We just want to do this for fun to hang out with each other, even though we'll never publicly admit that we are friends. We're not. We're acquaintances. I don't know these guys. Long standing for many, many years. They just showed up randomly. Childhood acquaintances. And and we started hit, you know, we hit record. When we greet each other, we say, hi, acquaintance. (laughs) Hello, acquaintance. 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 (laughs) But you, you were my friend. (laughs) And uh, remember, uh, you were my friend first. (laughs) (laughs) So uh, I just want to, you know. (laughs) <laughs> Truly thank everybody for their, their undying support. And hopefully we'll keep growing, you know, tell all your friends about us. Uh, let people know what we do and what we do is just for fun. We're, uh, I know there's a lot of avenues out there where people are talking about games, movies, and pretty Pop much culture. the similar <laughs> stuff that we do. But, uh, but they're, they're doing more it. focused into their own selves and they like to cuss. Oh yeah, that's we the want other to keep thing. a we family w- friend. For <laughs> <laughs> Rick just mouth farted. <laughs> Rick is gone. It was like, <laughs> like <laughs> we, we need to reset him. <laughs> it was it was that uh it was that movie Bruce Almighty where yes. the newscaster was typing. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we like to keep oh, it family man. friendly for that reason. He pulled a Vicky we- from Small Wonder right now. Shut down. Oh, shut down. Reboot. I, I like to say more like RoboCop, you know. No, you're the, Ricky from Small my jer- Wonder. My, what is it? My primary And I'm directive. your jerk brother, Jimmy. <laughs> I'm going to mess with you. Do my homework. So, no. <laughs> so we do it for that reason because we want your views. We want you to be here with us, comment, and, you know, talk to us. We like to hear feedback. But we also like you to share it with anybody, not just a particular group. We like everybody to be involved. We yeah. try to make it fun for everyone, not just a particular group like Rick says. Yeah, we don't invite trolls. To mm. come to us, but, but they do come in. But they do come in from time, time to time. Tell us everything we're doing wrong, and we do accept Which constructive is a lot. criticism. There's, there's, Let's be honest. There's, there's but a lot that we do wrong. We also like to have fun with the trolls as well. <laughs> you know, we like to. Yes, you can see the comments sometimes yeah. that, that they leave and that we leave back. <laughs> all right. Well, with all that said, I'd like to thank you very much for joining us today. I'm Leo with Rick and Francisco, and I want to remind you all. Boom, right there. <laughs> boom. That. Um, we have Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, and Instagram. All that keyword, Daddy's Game Time. Remember to hit that subscribe button on your right. And also, if you want to check out last week's episode or any of our other episodes, click on the left side be- right there on your screen. You can go ahead and check us out more. Let's check out some of our past stuff that we've done and worked on. And until next time, enjoy your games. Love your families. Tulu! Ciao! Bye-bye! Buongiorno!